Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading from the 28th of December 2020 to the 3rd of January 2021. It is for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Uh, this is Andrea and I am going to do a, probably a smaller reading this week just because it's been a bit crazy between Christmas and New Year but nevertheless if it's meant to resonate for you it still will cancer. So I'm going to pull three cards and see what the message is for you. First card is your challenge, second card is advice from spirit, third card is the outcome should you take the advice and then we will pull a final oracle card to finish off the reading. We'll clarify if we need to as well cancer. So what do we have for Cancer, please? Angel, Spirits, Guides. What is the message that Cancer needs to hear the most? Thank you. The most for 20... Oh, there we are. <laughs> Interesting. So I have the Ten of Cups that's just fallen out, but it's in your challenge position. Advice from Spirit, we have the Star. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I mean, that's beautiful. The Ace of Cups. So it feels very positive. And we have this with the Three of Swords. So Cancer, the thing that I'm getting here the most, and I'm going to start with this Three of Swords because I'm really attracted to this. You know, the, the Three of Swords is like an energy... Uh, I mean, there's levels to this. It doesn't always look the best visual. Um, the sword is about truth, clarity, illumination. It can be where your, a truth comes to light that hurts you deeply, that cuts straight through your heart, literally. Can be about heartbreak, can be about disappointment, can be to do with uh, some challenge or upset that you've experienced. Um, hurt and you know emotional pain it's that kind of energy so for some of you this this could have been caused in a relationship and that's why the ten of cups which is the blissful relationship um, it is the happy ever after card it is wanting for nothing being fulfilled emotionally on every level you know happiness joy fulfillment contentment um, but it's a card of hard work the Ten of Cups. What you put into it is what you get out of it. And these people feed that rainbow. They feed the rainbow of blessings. So they create their own blessings. They create their own prosperity by the productivity that they put into a situation. That could be in relationships. That could be in their career. That could be in terms of providing for their home. It's that kind of energy. It's wanting for nothing. But it's as a result of pretty much hard work. There's a kind of feeling here that something has affected your relationship. Now, this could be hurt within a relationship. It's interesting also, Cancer, what I'm getting, it could be a third thing that's affected your relationship. You know, like I said, could be third party situations, so it could be a third person. Um, can also be a third thing. So it could be where you've been affected by you know, money, career aspects, you've been affected by family, you know, other family, you know, a wider family maybe, or situations that have affected your relationship, maybe put some strain or pressure on the family dynamic that you have here. So whatever that situation is, cancer for you, the star card is the advice from spirit. And I love this energy because it's a card of hope. Now, there is hope. There definitely feels for some of you, whatever this Three of Swords was for you, either a third party situation or some emotional pain caused you, a third thing that's put pressure on your relationship, there is new find, newfound hope. Um, this is about have faith. You are being absolutely blessed and guided on this path. And no, there's an energy of being... I've continued to work at something here because there's hope. So continue to put all your energy and effort into the path that you're committed to. Don't change direction because for some of you, you are absolutely on the right path. And it feels very, very beautiful. Um, this is a blessing energy, divine wish fulfillment. 
And as this person walks on water, you're being told to, you're being reminded that to believe in miracles. So there's definitely an energy, of, there's hope in this situation, even though, you know, you see the rain and the clouds here, there is definitely it feels like some kind of silver lining. Because we have the Ace of Cups here, which is, it feels like this emotional renewal, emotional rebirth. So any issues in relationships for some of you, it feels like maybe you've gone through some kind of rocky patch, you know, if this is to do with your relationship, that's the third thing. Um, and it could just be an emotional thing as well that you've been challenged on if it is to do with relationships. Um, but it, whatever this, this, this was for you, Cancer, it feels like there is rebirth, there is emotional renewal. You're heading in, in the direction towards greater happiness and contentment and fulfillment. It feels like, I mean, some of you, you know, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that you may well be having that, you know, um, you know, what do you call it? Marriage renewals, that kind of energy as well. Sometimes I feel it with these kind of cards because it's blessings, being blessed, you know, it's that kind of energy. So a renewal of a relationship, finding each other again, you know, next phase energy, it definitely feels that beautiful energy. Um, but it can also be, I mean, just working hard, following the path that you're on, is leading to greater happiness, fulfillment, contentment. Well, whatever this Three of Swords was, isn't hurting you anymore. Isn't causing the pain anymore because the pain is gone with this card. There's only love with this card. There's only a happy heart with this card. So again, whatever this situation was for you, Cancer, it feels like you have the ability to come through the other side. There's something about being productive, working at something, but nevertheless, you're absolutely being blessed, assisted by God, the divine, the universe, every step of the way towards this. Now, the Ace of Cups can literally be, like I said, it can be a renewal in terms of love, romance, relationships, if it's to do with um, a relationship, you know, a husband, wife, partnership, committed relationship. Um, it can also be about opportunity, creative opportunity in particular. So very good in terms of creative media industries. So very beautiful in that respect. Um, can also be about new pets. Even new, you know, even new additions to the family, you know. Um, very good in terms of pregnancy as well. So for some of you, it feels like, I mean, that could be the third thing as well. It could well be that there may have been a challenge in terms of bringing a third person, you know, getting pregnant. So, you know, it could be that kind of energy as well, Cancer. But, you know, the Ace of Cups appearing feels very, very promising in that respect. I love the energy here because it's, it's saying there's reasons to be hopeful. So it's a lovely, lovely message for you this week. Okay, final, final message for Cancer, please. Final message for Cancer. Thank you. Yeah, you see, I, I really like the snake energy because every time I see the snake, it's an energy of shedding old skin. It's a sense of renewal. It's a sense of leaving the old behind and stepping into the new, which is exactly what this reading is all about. So we have Kundalini rising, channel your creative passion and sensuality, welcome the transformation. Isn't that beautiful? So I love the reading, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I wish you Happy New Year and I will see you next time. Thank you.